All right, what's up guys? Today we're doing a the install in the clutch kit. Uh, if you were to get one of these clutch kits that I've been talking about that we've installed on the 600, the 500 and the 800, we're doing a kit for a 400. This is a clutch off of the uh, C-Force 400 and it's just like all the other ones uh, that we've been doing so far. So if you get a kit, this is what you're gonna have to do. We're gonna first show you how to reclock the secondary. So we've we've taken that off and uh, we're about to, uh, Joel here is gonna show you how to uh, reclock and uh, reposition the secondary. The stop position on the C-Force 400 is B1. And uh, the kit that we got from Airdam Clutches, uh, he recommended for this particular setup to go to B3. So we're gonna, uh, go to B3 and this is how you're going to do that You will need this particular tool kit. You can get this from I think it's EPI I'll put a link to the uh, in the description to this particular tool to be able to put in the vise But you'll take the e-clip out after you compress your spring and now you're going to back it all the way out you can also make one of these tools with a piece of all thread, a couple of bolts, and make a device here that will compress uh, compress it. But there it goes. So there's a key way that you'll want to make sure that you, you uh, don't lose it. But here's the key way here, and a key is up in the top part here. So just make sure you don't lose that. But Joel is going to take this all the way out. And then we're going to leave the bottom spring here in the B position. But we're going to take the top part and put it in uh, the third position. So you just simply lift that and they're numbered up here. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So you just find the one that says three or whatever kit you get and whatever Adam recommends. You put it in that position. See the notch in the spring, and uh, that's what he did. It's in the uh, three position right there. And uh, now we're going to put it all back together. Make sure you put the E-clip on top uh, before you try to assemble it, or you'll have to disassemble it to get it back in position. And you see Joel just turned this bottom part to get the keyway uh, in position here. You want to make sure you do that. Now we're going to get tension on it. He's got the key there. He's putting it in the keyway. And uh, one of the biggest, the hardest part is just making sure you line that up and uh, don't get it in no bind and it should slide on down. You have to kind of play with it and twist it and get the key lined up. Oh, done got in the way. All right, it just went down. Now we got to twist it a very long ways to get this on the front side where you see the wear. It's almost, I think it's 70 degrees. There it is. All right, so you got a bow up on the bottom. Once you get in position, he's holding it with that one hand and holding it in place as he gets it down low enough to put the E-clip back in place. you do is just relieve the tension and you'll have it that's it now you have reclocked your secondary it's that simple but you do have, you have to have this tool here and like I said I'll put a link to it or you can uh, 
if you're close enough you can just let main street cycle and let joel here take care of business for you and uh they'll get you set up so now that's all you got to do to your secondary uh, of course you want to clean it up a little bit before you install it and i'll show you how to install it back on the atv or side by side now we're going to uh install the weights in your primary so we'll show you how to do that now all right guys so now we're going to, we're going to install the weights in the primary so we've taken it off of the bike and uh you're just going to simply we want to clean it first we're going to take that out it just slides right out now you got your weights here you're just going to take these out and you're going to, have to push the weights out of position and uh then we're going to clean this all out you can see it's got belt dust and all that built up in there and we want to clean everything real good but uh we're going to use some you can use some brake cleaner or brake cleaner will work now we're going to just get you something to push the weights out with going to get our new ones ready all right you're just going to press them in This is part of the kit. This is what comes in the kit. You'll, when you order the kit that I've been running in mine, and it will come with weights. It will come with a new uh, primary spring, and also what position to clock your secondary to. And uh, so this is all you do. But you, while you while you have it apart, you want to clean it. And uh, that's what Joel's doing now. And like I said. It's, if you don't have the if you just don't have the confidence to do it uh and you live close enough to main street cycle uh it'll be no problem they'll be able to take care of that for you and uh that way you ain't got to stress about messing anything up but you'll just put them back in place and joel's putting just a little bit of uh waterproof grease here on the uh for the inside of the clutch that hey, John, rides up and down. Oh, that four Sorry. Oh, you good? I didn't mean to hurt Oh, you fine. And that's it. That's going to keep it from sticking. And uh, now all we'll do is we'll bring that home and we will. Uh, install it on the 400 and we'll see how it does so we'll we'll see you there what's up guys we're back at the house we have the clutch kit we're about to install it back on this uh c-force atv uh, but before i do that i wanted to tell you that if you want one of these clutch kits uh for your uh c-force uh, whether it's a 400 500 600 or 800 or if you want one of these kits for your side by side uh, we now at Main Street Cycle, they ha they're going to have try to keep a, a stockpile of them for every model that CF Moto sells, and so they're they're not only going to keep them in stock, uh, but you can call and get this shipped to you to your door, uh, and from Main Street Cycle these clutch kits, as well as uh, if you live close enough, or I'm telling you, if you're within three four hours. It would be worth the 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 day to just make the trip, meet these guys. They're they're super awesome guys that work there uh, in the shop. They they have great mechanics that are that are very well trained on the CF motos, and they can install this kit for you if you don't have uh, the clutch tools that you need to be able to do it, or if uh, you just don't have the confidence to do this kit yourself you can uh just let them do that for you so that's at main street cycle and uh they, they can they can hook you up take care of you there 
So uh, I just want to let you know that. But so I'm, uh, we're installing this kit on a Seaforce 400, but this is exactly what you would do with uh, any of the Seaforce ATVs. And also this will be uh, very closely to what you would do with the side-by-sides as well. So we got our primary and you saw that Joel uh, talked to us about greasing uh, this here because what he has seen in the past, if you don't clean these very often, uh, there'll be buildup inside here where this is supposed to ride on. And so he has found that it works best to, uh, to grease these, okay? And it's just worked out for him on, on the CF motos that they've brought in there to uh, check out the clutches and whatnot. So you don't have to grease them. That, that's not a necessity or anything, but that's just a trick that he has found to work better for him to keep these uh, to being able to slide with no restrictions. So that's not a, a necessity, but just a tip from him. So uh, what, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take your new spring for your primary clutch. We're gonna install that here. Remember when you took everything off to leave leave all this there and uh, we're going to put this on now and you're going to have to push against the spring but you got to line this up. If you notice it's notched out, Let's see if I can get it to, there we go. All right, you see that? You want to be able to get that pushed on and uh, to the slotted area. Now we're going to take this washer and it's notched as well you're going to want to push it on and get the nut remember uh, this is uh, left-handed threads so uh, you want to get that started and this is a 30 millimeter And now take this here. Remember, this is also left-handed threads. Let me get the socket for it. Okay, that is a 18 millimeter. Now you gotta get through the first half and it's gonna slide on back. All right, now we're gonna tighten it down. All right, now we're gonna to go to our secondary. We're gonna put it in. Ah. All right, I almost forgot, I, I'm having to go back and I uh, forgot to put my uh, blue Loctite, the medium strength Loctite on the thread. So I done put it on here. I'm gonna tighten this back down. All right, and I put it back on here and I'm gonna put that back in. All right, now back to our, back to our secondary clutch. Back to our secondary clutch. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right, you wanna put a little bit of Loctite in there? Now these are our regular threads, right-handed threads. So we're gonna put these on. You wanna kinda of hold your secondary clutch. All right, so now I'm gonna uh, you wanna put your belt on. You wanna put this tool in there and spread it apart <clears throat> as far as you can. Remember, you can get this tool at Main Street Cycle. Just call them and tell them you need one. That uh, the tool that's used to uh, take your belt uh, on and off. And uh, let's see, we're gonna try to uh, start this from the bottom. 
and uh, get that on inside there. It's not it's not easy to do by no means. Well, maybe for somebody that knows what they're doing, but. There we go. Then you want to just roll it. Roll it in place. Just kind of got to get a little rough with it. There we go. Now, now we got that. Got your belt in. You want to take this uh, bolt out. Now we're just going to spin this till it tightens up. That's it. <clears throat> All right, remember this video was just to show you <clears throat> how to uh, take your clutches once you have them off. If you want, <clears throat> if you want to see how to take the clutches off, uh, in one of my other videos I've already got posted, uh, it shows you how to take the clutches off, and that's the same. It's taking the clutches off of the 800. Uh, I guess I could link the video down in the description on how to take the clutches off. Um, but once you, and, and that go, that was off of a 800, but it goes for any of these CV tech clutches on the CF motos. But, uh, once you have them off, we showed you how to, uh, you, you need to clean them out, blow them out with air. You can use a brake cleaner, electric clean, clean them real good. Um, and then, uh, we showed you how to take the, replace the weights. We showed you how to, uh, reclock your secondary. It's going to be different positions for different setups and different size riders and different aggression. But uh, we have all these kits. The, the kits that I'm personally running uh, are available at Main Street Cycle. And uh, so call them. The uh, link to their website will be in the description. Uh, I'll even post their, I'll put their phone number there. So uh, call them up. They can ship you your kit. Or you can bring your ATV or side-by-side -side to them and they'll install it for you. And as you've seen from our other videos, it's producing some amazing results. For uh, This is one of the cheapest mods, but best mods, in my opinion, that you can do to your CF Moto. So uh, these CV Tech clutches are awesome clutches. And uh, they're very easy to tune just by these simple... The simple kit, different spring, reclocking your secondary, that's awesome. If you had a Can-Am or something like that, you actually have to replace the whole uh, secondary to be able to do what we're doing with such a simple, such something as simple as just reclocking the secondary. So that's awesome. But uh, these, like I said, these kits are available, Main Street Cycle. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, be looking for the results of the 400. Uh, that, that video will come up after this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to post this video first. So be looking for the results of the 400. Um, also, I don't know if this is before or after the 800 results. So, uh, just, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe and, uh, go check out all the other videos. I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy and, and are interested in, uh, on my channel. So God bless y'all and, uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.